In the Internet Expressway, at the airport, and we are discussing with them the issue of the standard gauge railway. Therefore, the government of China and the people of China are reliable partners of Uganda and of Africa. Another 183 megawatts to our power generation capacity is a great achievement and calls for us to remain steadfast in expanding the base for productive use of electricity, such as value addition to agriculture through agro-processing and setting up more manufacturing fac uh, factories. China and Uganda signed the Memorandum of Understanding on the cooperation within the, within the framework of the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Initiative, commonly called the Belt and Road Initiative. Now our embassy is working closely, closely with our Ugandan friends to implement the eight major initiatives and the Belt and Road Initiative in Uganda. A separate modern state-of-the-art bridge connecting Kayunga and Kamuli is going to be constructed downstream. A new location for this bridge was identified downstream over there, Your Excellency. The basic designs have been approved by Uganda National Roads Authority, which is going to be in charge of reviewing the detailed designs and supervising the bridge construction works. The bridge is expected to be ready by the end of 2020, that is next year. But what's fundamental is um, building the transmission grid is important. Continued investment in the distribution subsector is also equally very, very important because you can generate this power. If you can't ever trade it and distribute it, then you'd miss out on the economics. But the good news, government is focused on these three areas. And we as women also are glad because this will enable us to supply more reliable, sexual power supply to our consumers.